So hi everyone, um, I wanted to make this tutorial because I made a group in Animal Crossing called Animal Crossing Media and I certainly need more people to help me out uh, with Animal Crossings because I eventually, for now I'm interested but I've, I lose interest, that's inevitable and uh, hopefully, I will never lose interest in the group but I lose interest in keep providing models but I hope there's all these persons, people out, out there that will provide models beside me. Uh, the models will make be made available uh, when I have them all exported. For now, I don't have them all exported, so please be patient. I, I'll put I'll update uh, uh, the link down below where you can get them. Um, but for now, I'll do this tutorial since I'm I have the the room free. This room room where I'm at is all isn't always free. Always has people around, uh, but it's free now, so I have to take the chance. That's why I'm doing this early. Um, and I'll show you here in this video that will cut in many parts uh, how I go around editing the animal models and make them compatible with. Uh, um, the first step is for you to download, uh, if you don't have already, is for you to download Pam She's Editor. You can download an English version uh, on DeviantArt. If you want, I provide the links too. Uh, but uh, sorry about that, Antivirus is always doing that. Uh, let's ignore it. <laughs> He'll be doing that for the rest of the video, so don't worry. Um, uh, so you need the program in, in Japanese or in, in English, what you prefer. Um, uh, now we'll start with a model I haven't touched yet, so let's see. I have here a folder that I have already touched this one in on size, but uh, We'll do it again. I'm not going to do the size again, but I'll spin it. So you drag the model or open it on file and click here. The first leave it. Okay. So the models, if you. I have two files in my models I have the, the object and the PMCs. The PMCs models will be already like this you see here and uh, the object models the, m the models will be uh, lying down so you have to use a, a 3D software to make them look like this up like this uh, that shouldn't be too hard though if you have 3D programs and you know how to use them so this is Bengal or a tiger base. Uh, so to change the size, we go to Edit, Plugin, System, and I change to so. If you go here and, for example, you put one point five. 1.5. Use pointer. Don't use the the comma. Use the point. Do that. The model will be bigger. If you go again to that editor that opens up with this one, here edit. Do the same thing. Edit system size change tool, and you put uh, 0 0.5. For example, the model will be smaller, as you can see. Oh, no, <laughs> don't exit. Um, so you have to fit it. Go around and play with the numbers and play with the numbers. And then finally, you should have something like this. Here. Ah, before I show you, here you go to materials. Go to one, for example. And you go to your textures that are here, and you copy this. I don't know if this is the one. I'm just you. You just go and guess. 
Um, go here and then textures paste. Sorry, that is this is in Portuguese, um, but that's paste. So it goes like this, and the texture is there. This should work on normal villagers. Special villagers sometimes have textures out of place. Um, for example, Riz from Animal Crossing. Um, it has textures all over the place. I don't know how can I fix it. I'll try to go to Rizzy again and see if I can fix that. But uh, for now, this is the only thing you have. Normal animals should be fine. Special animals, you have to be careful. If you have any doubts, please ask me. Uh, but I don't, I don't I'm not a specialist, so I don't know if I can fix it. So put the textures and this you have changed the size and you should have something in final you should have something like yeah you should have something whoop why are you not okay let's 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 so go here at the texture yep you should have something like this smally small banger <laughs> Um, and when you are sizing, I like to have other models, for example, a human model, Miku or you go here, import, go, I, I have all the models here, um, for example, this one has a base, tacky base, import it, okay, okay, this, this is to compare it with, um, normal Miku model, so you have this. I think the size is alright. Um, you can also, if you, you you want to remove this, you go here, edit, and do... Uh, where is it? Uh, undo. Control, control Z or undo. You undo. And if everything is gone, their bones are gone. Um, I already made the expressions. Um, okay. Uh, you should also compare with my other models if you want. For example, other models I did are already J from Animal Crossing 2. Um, go here and here, and J is here. For example, compare it. J is that size. So it's good. Normally, birds are more a little than the tigers. So I think it's good. So you go again. Go here and go undo to remove everything. Okay. So in the beginning, you won't have all these materials. We'll have this one, two, and three. I'm going to. This ones need to be. Needed. What you do now for uh, to add more eyes. You go here and copy materials and copy face parts. Okay, so we'll copy. So you copy here. I'm going to delete this because I already did copy it. So you copy it as many times as, as you need. Let me delete this. I copied for all the eyes, types of eyes, but I only copied three. Material free. Material free is from the eyes only. If you go here on the vertex masking, delete all parts, then we put to see the free. See, that's the free. It's only the eyes, only the parts we need. If we're all here, it's all back. Okay. So you do that, and we have that. This. Um, I don't think you have to do this, but I have to do it. Uh, I have to go here and copy it again because this is all connected, I think. Let me see. If I change this only to 4, we uh, should change them all the names to 4, 5, 6, 7 with this name. Only in English you can put uh, uh, the name uh, Ice, for example. Here is the Ice. This is the body. 
And this is a shirt, I think it's a shirt. Eyes, okay. This is another eye. So let's see if it doesn't have the problem I think it has. You go to masking, uh, select four, where's four? Appear? Why does it appear? Okay. They're not appearing for some reason. Mm. So I better do it uh, like you're supposed to do. So copy this one. Vertex in faces, don't forget to click that. And name this one for and go this and do I think it's called like this. You can go to the folder and see. Okay, it's this one. And here it is, finally appeared. Uh, I think I, I knew because Opac was off. That's why it didn't appear. Make sure this is one. Make sure it has a ground shadow. It's exact like this. You don't need edge, you can add edge, but uh, I will not it. I don't think it looks cool. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, everything is fine. So this is like Gito I so it's called Gito because I saw somewhere in, in the expressions you will see in another part of the video, but call it Gito I or call it something else. Your choice. So now you copy, go here, or go here, and copy parts, vertex faces, okay? Um, five, and do two. Here is two. You have another face, this is blink. Make sure you have the eye, and click blink. Mm hmm Okay, now next one. Hmm. Vertex faces. Okay. It's just be called six. And let's go to the folder and see. You have seven ones. So don't forget you have until seven texture. Some animals have mouth textures. It would be called M upon point. Uh, one for an example point to this so you have to do this this you have to do to the mouth too so don't forget that this one already has a has a, a mouth a tiger has a, has this mouth you can animate you can select these vertices I will show you how and open the mouth that's how you do in this case but in other cases sometimes they have textured mouth and I'll show you how to animate it, but you have to do the same with the, what you do with the, with the eyes. So this is angry. I angry. This is to help other people out in case they pick up your model. So they know each, which, what is what. Um, seven, four. Make sure you click um, like this. Click here, for example for him to update the texture so you know what I it is said and you name it seven and go update like this it's not updating okay it updated okay now copy materials are the same eight here five this is sm blink, smile, smile. Okay. Now I get again until you, you reach, s in this case, until you reach the final texture. In this case, is seven. Um, Mm 
like make sure they all have different names or the textures won't work. Um, now, cotton materials. So I learned this from other Pokemon models. That's how I learned to animate textures. And uh, depends. Some models were closed. And they all have the right to close their models, but people can't learn from it. So I, I leave my, for example, I leave my models open so I can learn from others and others can learn from me. Um, I also will teach you how to paint textures because you can add, certainly you can add more expressions, but not for now. You, you, when you go to morph, I'll explain it. Um, okay, so you have all this. I think there's nothing missing. No, nothing missing, as you can see in the folder. Um, so, you save, and you should always save with a different name. Um, to have old versions, in case you do some mistake, you can always go back. So save with different names. I'm saving like one, two, three, four. I don't don't save the final name name. Her final name will be Bengal. So I'm not saving as Bengal. Um, I'm saving as Bengal one, Bengal two, and uh, when I s I think this is final, I save it as Bengal only. Okay. So okay. now next step will be to make the, the other eye textures to go back. The same if you have a mouth, a texture mouth, you should do the same. Go here, this is all the objects that you have, the materials. So click R to, for them to disappear. And now you see where it starts. This is the one that's the default eye. So you don't want that. You want this one, all the eyes or mouth in your case. Select all this like this and go like this, select everything. Now you click here to see the model, but don't select this, left this unchecked. Uh, go here and leave it, uh, do it a little back, go back, like click on this arrow here and go a little back. Okay, that should be enough. And you can go here, click all and it's back. And we have, yeah, <laughs> we'll see why I'm doing this, but for now, just go with it. Um, and we have that. Uh, so I'm going to close here. The next part, we're going to the skeleton. So see ya.